everyone and welcome to Nora's Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today we're going to be doing our or my paycheck to a paycheck weekly check-in weekly budget. So let's go over last week really quickly. Um, I did make some sales in Nora's Cove, but I won't be getting paid for the, that until this week, which is tomorrow. Today is Monday. Uh, miscellaneous no extra miscellaneous money. I estimated 650 for hair, and I ended up making 685. Now, car insurance didn't get paid last week, but I just paid that today, so I'll be putting that on today's budget. And GoDaddy got paid, but I actually have to go back and uh, put in my <clears throat> excuse me my new card information. Another thing. Um, I didn't put down CMP because I don't know why I think I thought it was coming out on the 15th, but the money was there for it, but I hadn't changed my card information. So now I got to go through and update my card, my expiration date on all the things that are to come out like Amazon, um, uh, CMP, and my car insurance. So I did update my car insurance <clears throat> today when I paid it. So I did update CMP. So I need to go back and update GoDaddy and a few other things um, like PayPal, stuff like that. So anywho, these are the things that got paid. GoDaddy, Amazon, Community. Booth Rent and Community is actually coming out this week. Um, I don't know if I should put it on this week because the y'all had... <laughs> I got to maybe do a disclaimer when I do cash stuff on envelopes. But anywho, <clears throat> um, I had the money in my account for community. And I think I ended up paying 30 Well, I ended up spending that. I like to keep my money in the account. But I ended up spending it for my son's birthday dinner. I had to pay for my own food. Uh, my daughter paid for her and my husband. I mean, for her and my son and my husband paid his. So I wasn't expecting to pay for my food. But nonetheless, I took it out of that, but I basically put it back today. <laughs> Anywho, again, I wasn't planning to pay for it, but luckily I made the money back to pay for it. Booth rent, I did give her 300 Shopify, I did pay them, and it was like, yeah, $30. And so here I added my sinking funds of $74, and then CMP got 38 So that actually came out like on Sunday. So that's considered still probably the week. And so we did get to put $74 in our sinking funds. I switched over to my emergency fund. I gave it 20. So when I get ready to get to cash envelopes, I had to take a little bit out of my cash envelopes to cover my car insurance. I'll get into all of that when I do um, my cash stuffing. And then after this video, I'll be doing like my monthly and all that great stuff. So, oh, we have new inserts, you guys. Yoshida. I didn't print them. Oh, God. And I threw away the other one. So, we're going to just work with these. But let me show you what they're going to look like. I think I have the monthly. So, this is the monthly. We'll be using this to do the monthly. I just didn't print a weekly. I don't know why. Um, I did, but I had some things I had to fix on them, <clears throat> but the, they are not in the shop yet. I don't think, no. So I'll be adding them to the shop, and once I do, they'll also be in the description box. Just some minor things I had to fix on them. Um, let me see if I got a plain one in here. No. So they'll come in this nice taupe color, and in plain for those who need color, it's been updated. This is what the monthly looks like. Again, the paycheck to paycheck is very similar, same color, also plain. I will have those and show those in the monthly budget. But since I don't know why I didn't print one, but those are the 2023 inserts. So I'm going to use this cream mild liner today. And we are doing, this is October. I think this is the third through, let's see. I should have known this. And I started to go ahead and just fill this out, but I didn't. So October the 3rd through the 9th. And again, for those who are new here, my main source of income is hair. Um, and the next will be Norris Cove. I do nails from time to time. I'm not really doing nails. And then I have um, 
miscellaneous. And that sometimes like money's money back. I did get money back from upside. <clears throat> I totally forgot to add that for last week. But here we are. So let's highlight our fields. And we're gonna highlight our total here. And this week. Okay, and I'm not doing cash envelopes, I don't think. Okay, so again, this week seems to like it's going to pick up a little bit, but I just never know. But I'm going to put $700 down, guesstimated. Just looking at my appointment book, I'm going to put $700. Um, Norris Cove, um, I'm going to put $50. I think that's about right. And then miscellaneous, I don't know. I am considering getting a, doing like uber eats or something to make some extra income to help my husband out um you know maybe just take a little load off i'm gonna start basically um <clears throat> i have him an envelope but just adding money to it for him just to relieve the stress for god's sake let's see um we pay community so shopify we gotta do shopify and yeah, i'm gonna put shopify on the I'm just going to put them down. I'm not going to give them a date because who knows? And I think it's $39. And then we have Walmart. Y'all, if y'all hear me wheezing, I don't know. I just started wheezing all of a sudden, but the weather has changed. So, okay, Walmart, I think it's 40 And that comes out on the 4th. I'm going to schedule that so I don't forget. And then on the 5th, we have Credit One. You guys, I bought me some supplies for my planner. Um, had 20 extra Lux Bucks through um, cloth and paper. So I figured I'd use my PayPal credit. And so today I was trying to change stuff over with PayPal and update my card and everything. And I looked, they charged me $36 in interest. So I didn't save 20. <laughs> basically paid 80 something dollars for something i was like oh no we're getting rid of these credit cards and all this credit and just have one basic um card so credit one i'm giving 40 and nothing else i'm gonna put canva down because from last month i had the 10th but i think it came out early so i'm gonna put that on the 9th and that is 13 dollars and 77 cents Booth rent, and we're giving that 300, and that will come out on the 8th. Well, I'll pay that on the 8th now. Oh, also, I need to add car insurance because I've already paid that, and that came out. Well, I paid that today. Let's do a little calculating. Six hundred and forty-three dollars and seventy-seven cent. Now I'm gonna do something that I very seldom do. I'm gonna draw a line through here. Six forty-three. Six forty-three. Seventy-seven. And then for sinking funds. I've been trying to do like 75 and I have 750 here left. So let me take the 643 plus 75. That puts me at 718. So I'm gonna put $75 total down for sinking funds. Okay. Even though I'm gonna put that over there, and then I'm gonna I'm just doing, I'm just trying something different because I do have new inserts. So I'm trying to see like that works, but I want to put the 75 as the total over here and then I'll work my way down. So I'm going to put 75. So 75 plus 643 is 718, 77. And then that leaves me with a little wiggle room of 
let's see, subtract 750, 3123. So that leaves me like $31.23. That's what I'll have remaining if I do that. Prayerfully, I make more, and I actually think I'm going to make more, but it's okay. We're going to stick with this. $75 will be our budget. So, I've decided that I needed to work my hubby in my budget. So, I'm going to put my emergency fund first. I want, I'm moving that to like $20. So, let me subtract. That leaves me with 55. I wanted to be able to give him 50 a week. Um, but I'm going to give him 25. And I'm just going to let it add up. And then the weeks that I can do more, I'll do more. So I just, like, I got to put them in somehow. So that leaves me $30 left in my emergency fund. Oh, and I took out of my week ahead. And I took out about $35 out of my week ahead. So I'm going to give that... Um, 10 and I'm gonna try to put back in what I got using 20 that's 45 55 so at least be 20 excuse me and uh I got week ahead planning I almost took some money out of planning but I don't think I took any money out of planning I have to look I might have took some but I don't think I did and I'm gonna give planning five And I gave hubby um, 25 emergency fund and my dollar challenge. I've been doing pretty much five for that. So leave me with 10. And then I may could give myself a little bit more. I did the week ahead planning. It's something I feel like I'm missing. I'm pretty sure that I am. And I may do savings for the last ten dollars. Okay, so all that comes to seventy-five. And if I have more, I'll do more. This is it. And that leaves us still with thirty-one dollars and twenty-three cents. That's if I um, make more, I'll add more. And I think if I make more, I'm going to put more to the emergency fund. And more into um, hubby's envelope. I'd like to give him 50 and I'd like for an emergency fund to get 50. So that's roughly about 30, no, 25 and 30. 55 more dollars is what I would need to make. So I'm just going to kind of make that a goal. So what I want to do is for hubby's envelope to get 50 a week, that would be 51, 200 a month right now. Um, my goal has always been 700. So I want to up that to at least, you know, hopefully one day get up to 700 or $800 so I can help out with some bills. So right now I'm going for the 50 a week and be able to give him like 200 at the end of the month. So I think that'll just take a little pressure off him because I don't want him to be stressed because when he's stressed, I'm stressed and I don't want to be stressed. So I have to work it somehow into the budget. So if I, I figured if I can put money in my emergency fund, if I can put money in these other envelopes, even if an envelope has to suffer, let me just get, take a load off of, you know, his plate for a little bit and just work him into my budget. So anywho, you guys, if you enjoyed today's video and you want to see me work with this new insert, that will be my next video. We'll be working with this monthly budget. So I hope you all will come back for that. As usual, if today is your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video and you would love to see more content from me, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, and also if you're new here, if you like these inserts that I'm currently using. They are available on my website, Norris Cove. All the information is listed below. Um, each um, insert is listed below. So that's it. Again, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!